Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, July 2nd, 2012. Our top story is from the world of material science, but first we should take a quick detour to the field of regenerative medicine, because researchers at the University of Pittsburgh have developed a synthetic artery graft that takes a very different approach to previous work in this area. Usually, research in regenerative medicine focuses on growing cells, tissues, or even organs outside the body to be implanted later. Especially with large and complex structures, materials need to be developed to support growing cells. Again, this is generally done outside the body, using artificially derived stem cells like induced pluripotent cells. All that growing of organs sounds cool, but there's a reason it's not really being implemented yet, despite many advances. It's extremely complicated and time-consuming, not even including the technical challenges still to be worked out. However, arteries are relatively simple and can already be replaced by fully artificial materials. So these researchers took a more direct approach, creating a fully synthetic artery that the body can naturally replace with its own cells. They chose a polymer material that the body will easily reabsorb and made it highly porous to allow for cell infiltration and growth. It's also coated in heparin, which reduces blood clotting and binds to growth factors. After about 90 days, the graft, which is essentially just special plastic, gets completely replaced with working artery tissue. This cell-free design is drastically more simple and will ideally be able to help more people. Next is an update from the world of medicine. Scientists in Singapore have isolated an antibody that is highly effective against the dengue virus. Dengue fever is a tropical disease that, like malaria, is potentially transmitted through mosquitoes in many regions of the world. Although it's not as deadly as malaria, it's still a serious public health issue. A vaccine is hard to develop because there are four major types of the virus, immunity to one type still leaving a person vulnerable to the rest. So it seemed limiting the spread was the best option. Not that prevention isn't great, it's just also nice to have a treatment. And a treatment was discovered by studying the cell lines of people who had naturally recovered from a dengue infection. It's an antibody that binds strongly to the virus, preventing its entry into other cells and eventually destroying the virus within hours. Testing is very promising and they plan on looking for antibodies against all four types of the virus, mass producing the mixture for maximum effectiveness. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also feel free to contact us. We're looking for more volunteer researchers to help with Brainstorm and Biohacks.